As a thank you to all of you who have supported us up to this point and in celebration of the Scrub Academy reaching 1,000 subscribers, our brand new mat with the Scrub Academy's mascots will be given away to two viewers. To be entered, you'll need to be subscribed and comment on any video posted between now and the end of November. If you comment on multiple videos, each new comment will be counted as a new entry. Winners will be announced at the end of November. Enjoy the rest of today's video. What's going on guys? This is Nate from the Scrub Academy welcoming you to another deck profile here on the channel. Today we've got Easton with a Sword Soul deck, brand new out of the box. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first, so I've been a lot of debate with people. I play three of the new Ecclesia, just because it can get you off the ground into whatever Sword Soul monsters you need. Preferably going second, sometimes side out a couple of copies for side deck cards if I'm going first. Then just your bread and butter play. Mo Sword Soul Mohi, Summoner, reveal, reveal another one in your hand. Make your Sword Soul token, which is a tuner. It's like how you get going. Then when you use it for material, you draw a card, which is good for chain blocking with what you're usually going into. Play three, Sword Soul Taya, which is, I play three just because I play Tenyi in here also. Just for some ratio stuff, because you open this and a Tenyi, you're gonna get your full Sword Soul combo going. Then probably a card that came in Probably the best one today, just because burning people for time. You discard, summon him, create a token, get you your level 10, so it can get you a Baron, I wish I had. Or it can get you various other things too. That's it for Sword Soul Monsters. Okay. Next we do Tenyes. I'm playing three at Hara. Should play only two, but I only have Two copies of the light one. The light one, you can banish it from grave to summon any of the tenies from deck. Okay. I'm playing a third one of these just because of ratio stuff. So you'd rather play three of the spirit? I'd rather play the, three the sure. of the light one than three of the earth. Okay, so three and two instead? Yep. So just swapping that, okay. And two, the shooter, for just help, really helps break boards. And then if you open the light one with any one of these, you can. Do a whole combo before you even start playing your sword, sword soul stuff. Okay. And then one real spicy tech card is Arch Nemesis Protos. And what does that card do? Um, you first have to banish three monsters with different attributes from your grave and or hand. Okay. Special summon it. Can't be destroyed by card effects, but then once per turn you can declare an attribute, destroy all monsters on the field with that attribute, and until the next turn, neither player can summon Special summon that attribute. Oh, so you can so kind of control just, everything. It's a. It's basically this deck's barrier statue that okay. is super flexible, which this won me a lot of games today just because of that. All right, sounds good to me. That's it for the monsters. Okay, let's jump into the spells. First off is three, Sword Soul Emergence, which is just the deck's rota add a sword soul or if you have a synchro out which you will most of the time you can add any worm so you can search that protos the barrier statue one or any of your tenies if you're if they're needed mm -hmm. i'm gonna play three pot of desires because you want to banish a lot of cards for one of your synchros to really help control the board okay play three triple tactic talents just for the hand trap me is just to keep it going because if you have stuff in hand you more than likely you can keep playing mm -hmm. and for just one of play sword soul sacred summit what does this card do this is a monster reborn for the deck okay and then these two spells if they're banished you can level modulate a little bit okay I'm gonna play one Vessel for the Dragon Cycle, which is a Foolish for the deck. And then if you control a non-effect monster, which is what your uh, Sword Soul tokens are, you can also add a Tenny to hand. Oh, okay, nice. So you can get, just generates a lot of advantage. It's nice when it comes up, but you don't always need it. Mm -hmm. Play one Instant Fusion, because this guy is a level four tuner, so if they negate one of your level fours to create a token, if you have this in hand, you can just activate it and summon a level four token, a level four tuner, and just keep going. It doesn't, 
work too much that they keep summoning a token. Play one called by. You gotta play the called Just, by. You have to with this deck. Play one gold sarcophagus. Because this, you can banish one of your tenies and get it back to hand by banishing the earth one from the graveyard. Okay, so this is pretty much a way to cycle out real quick. Yeah, you can, it, you can send any of the worm monsters, really, and you can get something back. Or you can banish your spells, your sorcerer spells to level modulate. Or next up, you can banish your Sword Soul Blackout, which when it's banished, it creates a Sword Soul token. Oh, okay, nice. So, you can just keep it going. And then, this is basically an Icarus attack for the deck. Target one of your worms, two of their cards, destroy all three. Seems good to me. And then we play three Infinite Impermanence, just because it's a good card. Hits next. That's that is it for the main. All right. And what do we have in the extra deck? For the extra deck, Sword Souls we play two Sword Soul Grandmaster Zhijiao. When he's summoned, you add to hand or banish a Sword Soul card from deck. So you're typically always going to get that search because all of the Sword Soul main deck monsters, when they're used for material, have some other effects, such as this. If you use this for material, you go chain one, chain two, this lets you draw a card, so if they have an Ash, it's gonna hit that instead. They have to hit this instead, and then you get your search. All right, so you chain block it out, all right. And level six guy, burns for 1200, which is always good for time. Definitely. Now, this guy is specifically why I play Desires, because this is Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign Cheng Ying. For each banished card, he gains 100 attack and defense. He's already at 3,000. Yeah, and all your opponent's monsters lose 100 attack and defense. Oh my gosh, okay. And if he would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish one card from your graveyard instead. So back to the blackout, Sword Soul Blackout, you target him and their cards. You banish instead to protect him, so they just lose two cards. And then if the card is banished by any means, he triggers, and you can ban non-target banish a card from your opponent's field and graveyard. Nice. Okay. So he's everyone has just hated it when I put this on the board against him. I mean, I don't see why not, right? Then that's it for the Sword Souls in the extra deck. Play a little Yang Zing package. Okay. Play Axio because. Just a good card if you go second because you summon him with your sword souls, which are you're typically always going to be different attributes. So you're going to typically spin at least two of your opponent's cards off the board. Mm -hmm. and then, but if you're going first and you do with your tenies, you get him and the earth out on the board. You can just make Xiao Fang. Xiao Fang makes it so your opponent can't activate monsters with the same attributes as Yang Zing monsters used for material. To use Baxia, that locks them out of like Valor, Nibiru, Light Attribute Hand Traps. Anything that's light, yeah. And then, like what came up today, someone's point. It's also good for the Drytron matchup because they can't activate their Drytrons. That came up today, someone's playing a light based deck. I did this to them and they just couldn't play. Then I play one Draco Berserker of the Tenyi for just a beatdown, is what he does. Attacks a monster, gains it, destroys it, gains its attack, gets mm -hmm. the attack again. If they activate something, I can just banish that monster. Mm -hmm. uh, play, also play an Anna Emancipator Risen Dragite for going first because it gives you a free spell and trap negation if your water sword soul monster is in your graveyard. And even if they call by the grave, it'll still go because it's just an activation requirement. Another card that really helps supplements it, Ruddy Rose Dragon. Be summoned, it just banishes both graveyards, mm -hmm. which then feeds this guy even more. Then it gets even more attack. Yep. As far as Link monsters, I just play one Monk of the Tenyi to get Tenyi combo stuff going for the Yang Zing little lock there. 
one shaman of the ten years. Because if they hand trap you as much as they possibly can, you can always just go a little ten e beat down. Because if you can discard a card with shaman, summon a non-effect monster, which typically would be this in your grave. So you can just attack with this, shaman will trigger, destroy whatever this declares against, and then lets you just re-declare with both of them. Very nice. And then there's this for the instant fusion. Then the last three are just kind of flex spots. Play one Yazi, because it can just help break boards and let me keep going into the sword soul, because destroy him, just summon any worm, so any of the starters for Sword Soul. Literally just keeps recycling. Yeah, a lot of this deck is just recycling itself and banishing stuff. One Scarlight, just to help break a board if needed. Burn for time if needed. And then one Omega, just to rip a card from hand if needed. It's, these are just flex boxes, they can be filled with anything. If I had that new Baron, card, I would definitely replace one of these with that. Alright, so we're looking for a Baron then. Yeah, oh yes. That would... Alright, and then you said you were going to mention one card in your side then deck for us. one card, in spe specifically in the side deck, I play some Crow, just because it can trigger this guy's banish effect. So you banish a card from the graveyard, then you get this guy to banish a card from the field and graveyard again. So you double banish. That's, that's the name of the game. All right, so is there anything else that you would change in this deck? I know you said you, met, you mentioned the 10 U's, changing out those. Yeah, changing out some 10 U's. Hopefully getting a hold of the Baron at some point. Oh, sorry, got that guy. And other than that, it would just be for the most part just messing with ratios. It gets This deck gets new cards in the next set here in three months. Okay. So All right, well, thank it'll you just so much. get better. Thanks for bringing us your Sword Soul deck, your 10 U Sword Soul deck. If you guys did see anything in this deck that you would change, make sure to let us know in the comment section so Ethan can see that and possibly make the deck even better for us. Make sure to check back later on this week. We're going to be having some live duels with this deck so you can see it in action. But that is all we've got for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell on the way out the door because all your support is greatly appreciated. As always, this is Nate from the Scrib Academy, signing out for now. Peace out.